Yo, yo, what's going on, everyone? This is your boy, Vintage Firearm Guy. Happy Firearm Friday. Today, we're doing system test number 27 with the FCI panel. So, yep. So, anyway, let's get started. So, over here, I have the Firelight BG6. This has not been swapped out from last test. Over here, I have my um, Simplex heat detector. Model of this is 4098-9404. Um, it's a uh, fixed and rate of rise detector. Apparently the cage on this thing is smashed, so that's why it's supposed to have the little cage above it, but apparently the cage came damaged. I didn't break it or anything. I didn't accidentally drop it. No, it actually came like this, so. Yeah, it got damaged in its shipping or something. So, yep. So, eventually I'll get a new head for this detector soon. So. But, yep, so that is the heat detector on the system. And then over here, I have my Pyrotronics MS-51. Haven't used the Pyrotronics pull in a while, so yeah. So I have my flashlight on, but it's kind of dark over here, so yeah. And outside, like, it's starting to get dark outside, so I gotta kind of make this a little fast, so. But anyway, that was our initiating devices and now the notification appliances. Up here, I have a Pyrotronics uh, rebranded Wheelock 7002T. Model of this is HSD24. Uh, yep, you can see it's rebranded by Pyrotronics. You can see Pyrotronics pull, Pyrotronics notification appliance. <laughs> yep, all right, so that is the first notification appliance on the system. And over here, we have the Firelight Alarms uh, rebranded Wheelock 7002. So, yep, this is still off from the last test, so, yep. But, yeah, so that's pretty much our notification appliances and all the devices. So, yeah, as you can see, you got the Vintage Firelight, Vintage Pyrotronics, and maybe partially Simplex, so yeah. So, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and activate the system, starting off with the Firelight BG6. If you have epilepsy, do not watch this. Here it goes. All right, go ahead and reset this. Yeah, sometimes it's the pain reset with one hand. That's the thing with these kind of poles right here. Sometimes if it's hex lock or screwdriver lock or any of that stuff, yeah, it could be tricky to reset with one hand, so. Yep. All right, now let's go ahead and activate the second pole station on the system, the Powertronics MS-51. Here we go. Okay, 7002 T went a little crazy for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Go ahead and reset this. So, yeah, this pulse probably might be pain reset. So, all right. I can. All right. All right. Keep going. All right. So that now that's reset. Put that down, and now. Reset the system. All right, so, and now, because I don't have a tool that, because since this is a heat detector, we're not going to need a uh, testing tool, so, yep. All right, got on top of the ladder. Uh, the BIC lighter for good luck. Here we go. Here we go. Pretty loud, but not as loud as like, I don't know, the advances, so. Hopefully that doesn't gotta go back to alarm again, but I don't know, I think it should be fine, so yeah. But, yeah, so that pretty much wraps up for System Test 27. Yep, we've got the Vintage Pyrotronics, Vintage Firelight, 
kind of get the idea, so, yep. Next test, what's going to be next test? Well, we're going to have a, probably another old versus new kind of themed, and it's going to probably be the oldest fire alarm that I have in my collection, and the newest fire alarm in my collection, so. What devices are they going to be? Well, stay tuned for next system test, so. But anyway, like that being said, that pretty much wraps up for the video. If you all enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up or like this video. Drop a comment down below and of course subscribe to the channel.